That is for Deen, Al Islam, religion with Allah since time began. That is for Dik, remembering Allah, and Ra is for the month of Ramadan. Oh, Ramadan. That is for Zakah to cure our greed when we give our money to those in need. That is for Salamun Alaikum. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن سلق الطريق أول إلى يوم لا ينفع مال ولا بنون إلا من أطى الله بقلب سليم ويجيب لك صلى الله سبحانه وتعالى Uh, that has given us the uh, benefit of life up to this moment uh, since we have started this glorious month of Ramadan. And we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala perfect his blessing on the noblest of mankind, Prophet Muhammad, his household, his companions, and those that tread his path uh, to the day when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has established that our wealth, our children, None of them will be beneficial to us except for those who meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with pure hearts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala count us among uh, the, the, the set of people, an image of paradise and not an image of hell. The topic uh, for today is looking at uh, other aspects of our zakat. And uh, the topic is establishing effective zakat uh, distribution channels that target identify needs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran Kareem has mentioned, made mention the channels which zakat collected uh, should be distributed. Even is not a statement of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself had mentioned, enumerated these channels. When we say channels, it can refer to be, uh, refer it to be the Masori for Zakat, that is the beneficiary of Zakat. So it is uh, incumbent on any Zakat organization or Zakat body, be it uh, uh, run by the government or by a private institution to ensure they follow this channel. If they claim that they are uh, practicing uh, distribution of zakat as enshrined by the Quran Kerim and also um, taught by the Professor Lali Wasallam. You see, it's just uh, a a verse of the Quran Kerim that is the popular one that we all know uh, in Surah Tawbah, verse 16, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bada'udu billahi minna shaitan rajim. Bismillahi rahman rahim. Allah says, Idna ma sadaqatu lil fuqara, wal masakin, wal aminin alayha, wal mu'allafat kulubuhum, wa fi riqab wal garmin, wa fi sabili lahu, wa abna sabili, faridu tamin Allah, Wallahum alimun hakim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us understand that we have these categories that we have to distribute zakat to. The first is the poor, al fuqara When we say the poor, there are a set of people that, uh, despite Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them little, it can be um, summon that or summarize that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed them with little that will not be able to cater for their needs, their basic needs. Eating, drinking, clothing, even to the extent of shelter in some cases, they are fukoro. We give to them from zakat form. Then al-masakin. The masakin, according to scholars, some scholars, they are not, there is no much difference between fukoro, the poor, and the needy. But according to the Prophet the Prophet actually, in, in narration, 
let us know that when you see someone is miskin or we have masakin, there are set of people that their income is not enough for them for their needs. But these sets of people, they wouldn't in any way ask from people. They will find it difficult to ask. If we identify this set of people, we do what? We extend the zakat fund to them. Then we have um, uh, the workers, the employees of zakat. Their earnings, their livelihood will come from the proceed from the zakat collected. Yeah, they are alone. Then we have those that want to reconcile their hearts with the religion. Probably they've just accepted Islam or they are in their way of accepting Islam. We give zakat from uh, zakat uh, uh, proceed to them. The fund of zakat is also meant for them. Then those in bondage, in captivity, they are entitled to the fund of zakat. Also those indebted. They are seriously in debt. And these, they are debts. According to the scholars, there are different analyses. Not all those that are indebted that we have to, I mean, uh, settle their debt from the fund of Zakat. Most especially those that end that debt through illegal means. So the scholars of Islam, they have different opinion on that. Then we have for the for the work of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fi sabilillah, in any form, and also the wayfarer, those that are traveling and they are stranded. These are eight categories, or let's say eight channels, through which zakat will be distributed. But from the experience of those who are zakat workers, they will realize that the chunk of these categories, they are under al fuqara wal masakin Under al fuqara wal masakin Because someone that is sick is trying to, I mean, take care of his or her health, then will either fall under fuqara wal masakin The person maybe is unable to pay for his uh uh, spiritual bills and the likes and also someone that is under captivity and bondage uh, although those in slavery are the main focus here but in the modern time we we'll have those that are in prison and in one or two serious issues will settle them from the zakat funds so these are channels that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained and the Quran. It is not incumbent on any zakat institution to make sure that they follow these tenets. It's just there as the first of the Quran came, is for them to establish. According to the statement of Umar, that Allah he said, uh, Man la yeza'un bil sultan. Yeza'un bil, uh, man la yeza'un bil Quran, yeza'un bil sultan. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not, uh, what Quran, the Quran is just there, is for the authority to make sure that they uh, execute uh, that aspect of injunction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, in all these channels, the zakat of Pritos, looking at the uh, sets of their beneficiaries to be those these uh, under these categories they need to look at their needs that now targeting the needs is very very important what actually do these people need the masakin the fukoro those indebted and the likes so it is now using their wisdom to actually make sure that the zakat they are giving to them actually address their need at least the most important one looking at the number of zakat uh, applicants we might not be able to take care of all and at the same time looking at how is going to be evenly distributed and looking at the complementary demands of this zakat we are is very very important let me give three examples someone that is making application to take care of his equipments for job opportunity 
and also is also calling for uh, requesting for uh, merchandise goods to be selling what do we take care of first somebody that has learned uh, is an apprentice for fashion design and is making request of sewing machine and also making request of what of funds to buy materials which one do we take care of first to address the need primarily is to go for the what for the equipment for the sewing machine because that is the uh, um, uh, it is primary to his demand if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him he can take care of himself buying goods buying materials to sell along with uh, sewing because sewing is using the skill through a machine that is he has uh, benefited number two is health and job which one do we take care of most of the, the force we take care of the what of the head instead of the job because who is healthy will be able to do what to to work so we have to take care of the aspect of head force and also accommodation and job somebody can say find a way to squat the force that we have to address if you want to actually target his primary needs in this scenario the best thing is for us to go for taking care of his job to make him self-reliant to empower the person so that is how uh, an institution of the cat will be able to address to to actually address the needs of uh, those who are seeking for the fund of what of the cat may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, continue to bless the zakat and zakat foundation and also zakat other zakat bodies either by the government or by individuals or by corporate bodies we pray allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from us as act of ibadah and make this means as promised by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, a source of alleviating poverty in our society till we meet again next time Masada. آمنت بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسوله واليوم الآخر والقدر خيره والشره من الله والبعث بعد الموت لا إله إلا الله آمنت بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسوله واليوم